I got no time to lose 내 길었던 하루 now this Hollyland Lark C1 could be one of the most convenient wireless microphones for your smartphone, especially for making videos for TikTok, YouTube, and even going live on Facebook if you guys still do that in 2023. Anyways, today we are reviewing the Android version, but it's also available for the iPhone as well. And it comes with two microphones so that you can record two different people at the same time. Right Shane B, yes Shane A, cut, good take, good take. So these days we are trying to make more TikTok videos and I want to speed up the workflow by shooting and also recording straight into the phone and editing there as well. But because sometimes we are recording videos a little bit further away from the phone, the mic can pick up a lot of background noise which is not good. And I also can't be bothered setting up my Sennheiser AVX system with the phone because it's just that extra bit of annoying. And I also just can't seem to find that USB-C to 3.5 uh, audio jack adapter whenever I want to use it. But when I don't want to use it, it's everywhere. Anyways, in the box, you get a very nice carrying case along with instructions, a Type-C cable for charging, a couple of dead cats, not real dead cats, but these ones for muffling uh, wind noises. Finally, you get the charging case which contains the wireless receiver as well as two microphones with transmitters. The charging case as well as the receiver and transmitters are all made of plastic, but they're actually built relatively well. The only complaint that I have is about this very obvious elephant in the room, the giant logo on the microphone. Now in most cases, because you can hide uh, the transmitter, that's not really a problem. But because you can't really plug in a uh, lavalier microphone to this uh, transmitter, you're going to have to put it as close to your mouth to use the inbuilt microphone to capture a more natural sound. In which case, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. And everybody from a 10 kilometer radius can see this very, very clearly. So um, I don't really like that but nothing that a Q-tip and some acetone or isopropyl alcohol cannot just fix, you know. Wipe on, wipe off. Setting this mic up is easy AF, simply plug and play, that's what she said. You get two buttons, one to turn the mic on and off and one to toggle the noise cancellation. The highest sample rate and beat rate you get is 48 kilohertz and 16 bit, which gives you about 96 dB of dynamic range from the noise floor to 0 dB FS. In comparison, my Sennheiser AVX does 48 kilohertz and 24 bit, which gets you about 144 dB of dynamic range from the noise floor to 0 dB FS. That extra bit of dynamic range can help you reduce chances of clipping, which is basically when the sound waves are flattened and you can hear an audible display distortion in the audio. It can also help reduce excessive noise during recording. As long as you're not going nuts by screaming from time to time, then 16-bit is more than enough. The receiver charges as it's plugged into your phone, so it's going to run as long as your phone keeps chugging along. You can even charge your phone with the pass-through USB-C port on the receiver so that it runs forever. Ever. On the other hand, each microphone with the transmitter can last you up to 8 hours and since this charging case can charge both the transmitters uh, 3 times over, if you're alternating between both the mics because you're only recording one person, you can literally record up to 48 hours which is pretty bonkers with this tiny little thing. Next, we're gonna test out the wireless transmission range of the Lark C1. I'm gonna place it on the floor and just go as far back as I can. I think all the way at the end of the corridor is more than 200 meters, which is the uh, advertised range of the wireless mic. So let's just test it out. Going back. We're gonna go all the way to the end and see if we still get a signal. Just over the halfway mark of the advertised 200 meters, if you have your back turned away from the receiver and it's not getting a line of sight, the signal can get a little choppy. But the good news is if you maintain that line of sight, definitely further away than 200 meters at this point. Uh, the signal still goes pretty strong even at the 250 meter mark before it eventually cuts off. So let's just get back. Let's just get back to the phone before somebody steals it. Yeah. 
there goes my cardio budget of the day. So this is how the microphone sounds like straight into your smartphone. I got no time to lose. Negiraton haru. Nampogo shippo ratatata urin simjang ratatata. I got nothing to lose. No joa handa go. Ratatata urin simjang ratatata. But I don't wanna stay in the middle Like you a little Don't want no riddle Mao Hejo say it back Don't say no ditto <laughs> Don't say no di- <laughs> So I just took a listen to that recording on my computer with my speakers and honestly, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Uh, it actually sounds pretty good except for a little tiny bit of lacking in the bass and the lower mids department. I, I've already put the mic this close to my mouth to eliminate any issues with proximity effect, so it's definitely not that. But yeah, it can sound a little thin, but clarity-wise, it's pretty good. Um, surprisingly good for the price. Now let's take a look at some special features that come with this Lark C1. As you can see, the app is relatively simple. You get the battery status for transmitter 1 and 2, an audio meter, a noise cancellation settings strong and weak, a volume control 1 to 5, and finally speaker play, which is off by default. Uh, what speaker play does is actually allow you to bypass the receiver and play audio straight off your phone speakers instead. Now I'm just going to test out the noise cancellation. All you need to do is click the yellow button right here as I stated before. Uh, we have a lot of noise out here with the aircon compressors and the exhaust fans. So this is without the noise cancellation. And this is with the noise cancellation. Is it cleaner? Can you hear? Yeah, and this is without the noise cancellation again. Done. Hollyland recommends that you only turn on the noise cancellation if you are somewhere like I was just now that is really really noisy. Otherwise just pop on the dead cat and it should still fine in uh, most conditions. Until this point it's all rainbows and butterflies but I do have some concerns with the Lark C1 when it comes to more professional applications. Uh, firstly is the 16-bit bitweight which might be good enough for most amateurs and prosumers but if you're a professional you might want a little bit more headroom for clipping as well as uh, potentially having a lower noise level um, with something that has a 24 bit bit rate or even 32 bit. And secondly is the fact that you cannot record uh, these two microphones separately into their own channels which can be a problem if you are a professional that wants to uh, mix both channels separately. To recap here are the pros, mess and cons of the Holyland Lark C1. Price at only a very hashtag cheap buy 649 ringgit or 149 US dollars for both the Android and Apple versions. I give the Hollyland Lark C1 a hashtag cheap buy 8.5 out of 10. There's also the solo version if you only record 1% at the time for 89 US dollars or 409 ringgit. If you're interested in picking up one for yourself, feel free to check out the links in the description because it will support us to check out more products like this and it won't cost you anything extra. As usual, if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. I'll leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this product and I'll try my best to reply to you. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hitting that notification bell to see more content like this. Finally, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane and I will see you in the next one.